what are RS232, RS485 and what are the difference between them? We will also talk about RS422. First is what is RS? RS is recommended standard. Please remember it is not a protocol. This is just a re recommended standard. It is for computer serial interface and IEEE this uh, they have given this recommended standard and you can write it as RS-232. So RS-232 is for serial communication. What does it mean? That bit by bit, byte by byte, the communication is taking place. For example, 1, 2, 3, these are say byte or bit stream. Then these goes one by one and used for connecting what? See, whichever is your computing device or a computer, there are certain peripheral devices that may not need that much of a speed and that needs a little uh, the little wire that the length of the wire sh should not be long for so this is used for connecting computer and its peripheral devices to allow the serial data exchange between the two parties so here whenever the bitrate you want as low or you don't want that much of mbps the length should also be small RS-232 is used there. So it obtains the voltage for the path used for the data exchange between the devices. Okay. Now RS-232 has a transmission speed of 1 megabit per second up to 15 meter. That is 50 feet. 50 feet after that, after 15 meter, the speed will be around 19.2, 19.6, you can call it as 20 kbps. So now coming to, before going to RS-485, let me tell you, this is RS-232. Architecturally, this RS-232 is a bi-directional point-to-point point link. So these two independent channels are established for two-way, that is full duplex. Both parties can talk simultaneously. RS-232 actually was designed for modem but uh, since we are using it for actually the peripheral device connection there are certain pins, 9 pins to be precise and there are certain control pins, uh, modem control pins and there are 2 pins for flow control. So 2 pins RTS and CTS for flow control and DCD, DTR, DSR, RI is for modem control. So let me tell you this RTS, RT is for request to send, CTS is for clear to send and this is for flow control. Then we have the modem control, DCD, DTR, DSR, RI. So let us now jump into the more important part which is our received data, uh, transmitted data and the signal ground. Now you see here, this is still unbalanced, I'll, I'll tell you why receives data and the transmit data this two and three second and third pin which you see marked here so this is the whole you know formation of different pins this i am showing you the this is the male pin and the other one is the, the below one is the female pin we call it as db9 db9 now rs485 this is also known as tia485 and eia485 this EIA, TIA are the institutions, the name of the institutions. And this is a standard defining the electrical characteristics of drivers and receivers for use in again serial communication system. So serial communication. The RS-485 comes with a balanced electrical signaling. And also the second very important part is the multi-point systems are supported. That is, you can connect multiple system, multi-drop, what we call it. Okay. Now, let me tell you the difference one by one. The more important is, RS-232 has a transmission speed of 1 megabit per second up to 15 meter, 50 feet. Okay, 1, one Mbps for 50 feet. But when it goes beyond that, that will be... 19.2 p 19.2 kbps of after 50 feet when you use rs485 this is a data transmission of 10 megabit per second for 50 feet that is 15 meter 
After that, it can go up to 4,000 feet, and 4,000 feet is around 1,200 meters. So you get, you know, have a look at RS422 also. I'm going to tell you about RS485. So I'm talking that 10 Mbps for 15 meter, and beyond that, you get 100 kbps, which is way higher than 19.2 kbps. Okay. Now, as I said, that 1,200 meter is is uh, around 4000 feet so you are uh, you get rs85 to produce the speed of 100 kb per second 100 kb uh, kilo uh, bit per second now rs232 is used when and where but before that let us see the one by one difference cabling is rs232 single ended rs422 single ended multi drop and rs485 is multi drop what does it mean single draw, single ended and multi draw? That is in, in single ended we have one transmitter, one receiver, only one transmitter, one receiver. RS 422 and 485 we have in, in RS 422 we have one transmitter and 10 receiver. That is why it is single ended and multi draw. Single ended and multi draw because we, we just have one transmitter and 10 receivers. But when it comes to 485, RS 485. We have 32 transmitters and 32 receivers. Okay, multi drop is one connect, one single connection drops the bits or byte or communicate to multiple uh, you know, parties. And RS232 is full duplex, that is, both parties can send together, receive at the same time. RS422, 485, they are full duplex and half duplex. That is, half duplex means. Both parties are talking, but one at a time. Full duplex, both parties are talking at the same time. This all already I told you. Now, one more thing here is unbalanced, balanced, and balanced. So RS422, I'm just saying that 15 meter 10 Mbps, and beyond that, you get 100, 100 kbps. Unbalanced, balanced, uh, this, this means that uh, you need a ground. When, it, when you have a ground also, that balances if something, you know, goes off that is plus minus and then you have a ground so you if you don't have a ground then you have unbalanced 422 485 they are balanced okay when to use what now this is very important see rs232 it works for short distance whenever you want short distance if you want long distance you can go for 422 and even you go for uh, 485 but 232 is for short distance. First thing. Second thing, RS232 is good for noiseless channel where there is little or no noise. But whenever the, your channel has noise, then you are going to use RS485. It works very good in the noisy channels. Then coming to speed. When you need a moderate speed, not very high. For example, you are connecting keyboard and mouse to your system. You don't need high speed. For that, you use RS-232, 422, 485. When you need good speed, when you need good Mbps, so there you use 485 and 422. So data speed, higher 485, 422, 485 to be precise. And there is one more question being asked. What is the difference between RJ-45 and RS-232? Now this is the RJ45 connector. RJ45 is the standard connector for Ethernet networks. Ethernet is a protocol. RS232 is not a protocol. It is a recommended standard. But RS232 is used for serial communication. And Ethernet is basically uh, a protocol for LAN technologies. RJ45 support 8 pins. RS232 I showed you 9 pins it supports. RJ45 port is smaller than RS232 port. You see here in the pictures also. RJ45 is used as this is the size I'm showing. This is RJ45 is used as an interface. But uh, RS232 is also an interface, but more uh, it is a it is a connector mostly used in the industrial applications. 